Uh, the ability to win, the ability to win big. Um, you know, as I've grown as a player individually, uh, unfortunately, I haven't been in a, a team environment that was uh, built to win it all. And uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to taking advantage of that. At this stage of your career, does it matter which role you play, whether it's on the bench or start? No, I mean, obviously, um, you know, this group here was was a very good team before I even got here. You know, and they, they've had great chemistry together. Um, and with the end season trade. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. I think you just come in here, you play your role, and uh, you do you do what it takes to help the team win. You said he would have rode your bike here if he could have. <laughs> yeah, I found out uh, uh, people in Portland like their bikes, so uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Do you have one? Uh, no, I don't. I probably need one, though. I don't have a car either right now, so. You fit in. Yeah, I get how a bike. You, how are you getting around? Yeah, I need a bike. <laughs> pretty quick. Right now, I'm walking. I'm not staying too far from here, so I use my feet. What was your reaction when you found out that you were being moved? Um, you know, I was excited. I was excited. Um, you know how how the season had been going for me individually and, and the team I was on. Uh, it was somewhat of a fresh, frustrating situation um, that we were all going through, and, and you know they'll they'll build out of that. Um, but to come from that spectrum to this one here and, and to a team that's right in the thick of things of trying to contend for a championship. Um, couldn't help but be happy. And then one year you found out you got traded when you were in Barcelona on the, on yeah. the internet. How, how'd you yeah. find out about this one? Uh, not the internet. Uh, <laughs> I, de I definitely um, want to give a lot of appreciation and thanks to uh, Tim Connolly and Josh. They kept me in the loop as, as things were going on, uh, transpiring with me. And um, uh, so they, they, they made me aware maybe a few hours ahead of time. What's the message from Coach Ben so far? Uh, just enjoy it, man. He, it's, it's more about the culture, the chemistry, the environment, and, and obviously the ambition to win it all. Um, there hasn't been too many specifics. They're trying to incorporate me with the plays and, and some of the teammates, but uh, you know, I'm just eager to play tomorrow. Turn off to you yeah. here, but you've mentioned a couple times about uh, championship caliber yeah. and improving that. Yeah. As someone who's coming into this team, yeah. you know, what do you, how do you feel like they, they stack up in that regard? And how do you feel like you might be able to, to help them get to that point? Yeah, like, you know, like I said, you know, this team was a very good team already with, with those type of aspirations. So uh, the intent for me coming here is not to, to make that worse. You know, it's, it's to only enhance that. And, you know, I'm confident in saying that. I feel that way. Um, I think players of, the, of this caliber that are already on this team, um, I'm pretty sure already had that in mind. You know, whether you're humble about it or outspoken about it, um, you know, but for me, that's the goal. That's why I play the game. I play the game to, to get better individually, but, you know, I play to win. Like you said, the in-season trade, I think it's your first in-season trade, right? Yeah, yeah. How will you go about getting acclimated to the players and the system and all that? Like, like how do you approach that? Um, you know, you take your time. You know, I'm trying not to do too much in the sense of trying to force the issue, uh, you know, on the court or, you know, off the court. Just kind of take my time, get to know the city a little bit, get to know the environment. And, um, you know, but these guys have made me feel very, very comfortable uh, already. So you went through some sets and some yeah. pick and roll sets and just basic yeah. stuff. We watched uh, we watched maybe an hour of film. Uh, I'm gonna take some film home tonight. Uh, watch plenty of film, uh, so it, it'd be as if you know I had been here a while. Why do they call you Rattlesnake? I have no clue. Oh come on, you gotta know why. <laughs> no clue. No. Did no it clue. stick? Was it still going? No, on? it doesn't stick. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Having a little a little history with Neil kind of help your transition at all situation. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, Mainly in part because of how my season had been going this year, um, you know, to get that appreciation from Neil and, and the staff here, you know, that goes a long way back. He he's seen where I've come from, uh, from my draft days, but even beyond that, my high school days, my college days, he knows my character, uh, the culture that I would thrive in, and um, to not be judgmental on a current situation I was in, and to understand that I could really help this team, um, that did help. You know, he used to work me out in the morning, uh, you know, six in the morning, get up and work out with me, so. Um, I've had a lot of great experiences with him, and you know I'm very thankful. Have you, you heard from a lot of fans? Some... I mean, do, have you gotten a sense of how excited people are to have you? No, I mean I just got an Instagram for the first time uh, uh, when I got traded, so I thought I'd capitalize on a little bit of buzz and uh, the fans that are there, uh, the few that I have. Um, you know they're excited. They're excited, and I'm pretty sure they reflect uh, how the city feels. Did you connect with the real at all? Were jogging last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Where did Neil work you out at 6 a.m.? Was that like college uh, or after college? I don't know. I hope I say the right thing. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it no, was no. in the summertime. So okay. it was in the summertime. Uh, it could have been in my college days, uh, some of my early pro days. Sure. I used to stay in California. Yeah. Uh, even back when I played in Detroit, I would go back home. And right. um, obviously, he was working with the with the Clipper team. So uh, 
he always invited me to come work out with a few other guys. Do you have a relationship with any of the guys on this team? Um, you know, I've known LaMarcus. Obviously, we're in the same high school class. We're actually roommates in the McDonald All-American game. So um, I've actually known him for a while uh, just through the circuit. Um, Darrell's obviously from the LA area. Uh, we had some competitive high school games. Um, and then some of the other guys that, you know, around my age range, just competing against them. So, you know, I don't feel like everyone's brand new. Aaron, do you look at this as kind of a three-month stop, or, or do you look at it as something that, that maybe could be longer than that? You know, I just think that's one of those things you address in the offseason. You know, I don't think that's a, a point of focus right now. Um, for me, uh, it's about taking advantage of this opportunity individually, but, you know, bringing what I bring to the team and then seeing where it goes from there this offseason. You excited about making the playoffs again? That's yeah, man. Saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's 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 what it's, what it's about. You know, I've... I've I've uh, been in a lot of Im impactful games in my life, but you know, as a professional, um, most of my playoff experience came in my early years of my career when obviously I wasn't quite the player I was today. So uh, to have the skill sets and the confidence and, and the experiences that I have now, uh, to take that into the playoff atmosphere, man, I'm, I'm truly excited. What aspect yeah. of your game do you take the most pride in? You know, it's just, just kind of being a utility guy, man. I've, uh, I've had to adjust so much even to this role now, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've been the, the last guy on the bench. I've been uh, just a bench guy. I've been a starter who played just the defensive role as a defensive stopper. I've been the primary option offensively. Um, so uh, I look at myself as a person that just gives a team what it needs. And if this team needs depth, if it needs scoring off the bench, if it needs a defensive stopper for, for segments, you know, that's what I'm going to be. Has coach told you what, what this team needs from you? Yeah, most of that. Yeah. <laughs> At least you get to ease into it with Memphis coming in, right? Yeah, I mean, the schedule's no joke, but, you know, it's, uh, at the end of the day, you got to get out there and compete. And, uh, you know, no one cares on an outside uh, perspective about what's going on in here. And in this trade, they're, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to win. So, you know, no easing into it. Can you expect to be in the rotation playing tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how many minutes. I don't, I don't have no idea on that, um, but uh, I'll suit up.